Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Shalom Aleichem. Aleichem, Shalom. Praise be Jesus Christ. The gospel passage that we just heard is the prologue of the gospel according to St. John. This is the gospel that is proclaimed at Mass during the day on Christmas. In this prologue, St. John reminds us that Jesus Christ, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, existed before time began, and it was through him the word that all of creation came to be. But in time, the word was made flesh and made his dwelling among us. More than 2,000 years ago, the Word was made incarnate in the womb of the Virgin Mary so that he could be born a man. Reflect on, my brothers and sisters, what we celebrate every year at the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was born in time, born as a man so that we could become like him. The sin of Adam and Eve, that great act of disobedience against God, could only be repaired by God himself. So that is why Jesus, the Word who existed always, put his Godhead aside and was born in time. Adam and Eve wanted to become like God, so they thought, when they ate from the tree of knowledge. But the opposite happened. They became afraid of God. Recall in the Garden of Eden how Adam and Eve would walk with God every afternoon until they disobeyed him. Once they did what God asked them not to do, they became afraid and hid themselves from God. Instead of becoming more godlike, they became godless. They didn't trust God or each other once they sinned. I'd like to share a story with you taken from the Sower Seeds of Plenty. The title of this short story is Out of the Pit, written by an anonymous author. A young man excitedly told his spiritual director about a dream he had the night before. I dreamt I fell into a deep pit, helpless and despairing. I couldn't get out. And Confucius approached and said, let me give you some advice, my friend. If you get out of trouble, never get into it again. A Buddhist came and said, if you can climb up to where I can reach you, I can help you. A Christian scientist came along and said, you only think you're in a pit. A self-righteous person said, only bad people fall into pits. A fundamentalist said, you must deserve your pit. An IRS agent asked, are you paying taxes on this pit? An optimist came along and said, things could be worse. A pessimist said, things will get worse. Then along came Jesus, who, seeing my situation, jumped into the pit with me. He had me climb on his shoulders and help me out of the pit. The young man discovered that compassion was the greatest aspect of being a Christian, to jump into the pit of life rather than standing on the sidelines as a spectator or an overseer. And you who call yourself a Christian, is there compassion like Jesus in your life? My brothers and sisters, our God not only jumped into the pit with us, but became one of us so that we could become like him. What Jesus did for us in becoming a man, eventually dying on the cross, was so that we could not only become like him, but share his very glory, his endless life. The late, great Saint John Paul II used to say, 
that when we act like God, we are acting like we are supposed to act because we are made in his image and likeness. When we sin, we turn away from our true self because we go against our true nature. When we hear a preacher say that we are supposed to act like God, we start to tune him or her out because we know how ungodly we can be sometimes. Sometimes when we hear that we are to act like God, we only see our faults and our failings and say that God cannot be possibly calling me because of all of my faults and failings. My brothers and sisters, we compliment God's message because Jesus plainly tells us to act in God-like ways. All we need to do is to give food to the hungry, drink to the thirsty, clothing to the naked, shelter to the homeless, a kind word to the ill or in prison. It isn't rocket science to follow the example of Jesus. We're just beginning our Christmas season. It goes from evening prayer vespers of Christmas Eve until the feast of the baptism of the Lord, which we celebrate on January 10th, 2021. For more than three weeks, we celebrate Emmanuel, God with us. Pray before the manger scene in your house, in a church, or even on one of your Christmas cards that you received. Enter again into the mystery of the incarnation. Come to the Lord's table if you can and receive him. Let him strengthen your commitment and resolve in following him and acting like God in all that you do and say. God is with us, Emmanuel. He wants to accompany us if we only let him. Resolve this Christmas to act in the nature of whom you were made. Be another Christ for your family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and even for those people you might not like or who might not like you. Be the incarnation of God's love in the world today. May the Lord give you his peace. Shua Shabbat
家。